In Creole Parametric, you can use custom symbols for your balloons for a bill of materials in a drawing. Here I've got an assembly open. Let's create a drawing for this. I will click on the new button. Let's change the type to drawing. I'm not going to use the default template. And for this demo, I'm not going to change the file name. I'll click OK. And I will use empty with format and I'll use my standard drawing format. Then click the OK button. I'm going to use sheet one. It wants me to fill in a bunch of other different parameters. I'm just going to quickly bypass all of those. So I've got my drawing started. Now let me throw on a view here. I will right click and choose to create a general view. I'm not going to use a combined state and locate it right about here. Let me change my view display. I like to have shading with edges. Let's go to the view type category and I'll use one of my saved views. Now let's go to the view states and I want to explode this and I've got an explode state. Let's apply that and that looks good. Let's click the OK button. Now for my bill of materials table, I can go to the table tab and then go to the table drop down. And I'm not going to create one manually. I've shown how to do that in other videos. Let's go to quick tables. You have a number of different tables that are provided to you. And so here I have one with a bomb description and the direction of the table is down. You also have a similar table where the direction is up. Let's select this one and I will drop it on the sheet. There you see the table that is created. I'm going to go to my repeat region command and then attributes and then select the repeat region. I just want to make sure that it is recursive. It goes into the different sub assemblies. This particular table has a column configured for comments. It's warning me that, hey, if I change this, then any comments might be lost. Same with the dash numbers or fixed indices. I will click yes and then click done return out of here. And that way I got more members in listed in the bill of materials table. If I select the table and then choose select table, then properties, there is a tab in here for the table properties that allows you to control what kind of bomb blooms that you're using. Here it lists repeat region one, which is this one over here. Right now it is configured for simple circles and it's using the RPT index, this index number in the first column, as the value that's going to be reported inside of the simple circle. I will click the check mark and then now we can choose to create balloons. I'll choose by view and select this view over here. So there you see the different balloons. Let's say that I want a different kind of bomb balloon in here. Let's select the table again. You can select a cell and then use the select table command and go to properties. Now we go back to the bomb balloons tab and instead of a simple circle, I can do a quantity split circle and then hit the check mark. You'll notice that the balloons automatically updated. So I've got the report index at the top and then the quantity listed down at the bottom. But let's say I want my own custom symbol. I see a lot of companies have all sorts of different information that they want in their bomb balloons. So let's take a look at how to create our own custom bomb balloon symbol. To do that, I will go to the Annotate tab. And here we have the Symbol dropdown. I'm going to go to Symbol Gallery and then define a new symbol. And for the name of this, I'll call it my, I like to use all caps, Bomb Custom. And then hit the Enter key. And now this is going to take me into that symbol editing interface, which is essentially the Wildfire 5 drawing mode. I know it looks really, really backwards because, hey, it's 10 years old at the point I am making this video. For making my geometry in the symbol, let's turn on the display of the draft grid. I'll go to view and then draft grid. Let me go to grid params and then my X and Y spacing. I like to have a spacing, a much smaller spacing. 
and then click done return out of here and now show the grid and it's really fine so I'm going to zoom in here to the area where I'm going to work now I hit the middle mouse button to just get that other part of the menu manager closed let's go to sketch and I like to turn on sketch preferences to lock into the grid intersection and for my geometry I'm going to sketch a circle go to the sketch drop down and then choose circle and I'll locate it here and go out about yeah this is good and then hit the middle mouse button a couple times to get out of drawing creation and I accidentally hit it too many times it brought up the attributes dialog box so I'm going to cancel out of here and for this symbol I've seen a symbol used sometimes where people have the report index number in the middle and then they have the quantity followed by the letter X over on the right hand side let's do that I am need to insert a couple of notes so let's go to insert and then note and for configuring the first note I want it center justified and I want to want to locate it right in the middle everything else here is good I'm going to enter it manually I want it to be horizontal let's choose make note and for the location I'm going to drop it right there in the middle and for this particular note we're going to use variable text and in order to use variable text we're going to use backslashes around the text and there are some special values in here for a custom symbol if you use the name index and then backslash and I'll hit enter again because I just want a one line note there is my first note let me click done return out of here right now the text is a little too big so I can right click and choose properties I'm going to go to textile I'm not going to use the default height let's change this to a value of 0.1 and then click the preview button and so this shows me that I can get about three characters there in the middle and that looks good I don't imagine that I'm going to be using this for anything that's going to have over a thousand index numbers that would be a little cluttered for a drawing so that's good let's click the OK button and I'm going to put in another note in here insert and then note and this one I want left justified I want it starting right over here so I will click make note and then drop it right over here and for this one I'm going to use the backslash and then QTY which is the special one for quantity and then another backslash to say that the QTY is the variable text and then the letter X for saying hey I want this many of this component so that's good let me hit the check mark and hit the check mark again so there I have my second note created just like before with it still selected I can hold down the right mouse button and go to properties and let's change this from the default height to a value of 0.1 again and preview it Yep, that looks good I know I've got my text essentially running on top of each other but that is fine the last things I need to do before I set up to get out of here let's go to attributes and a couple things to note about the general tab for placing this if you want to use it as a bomb balloon you need to allow free placement and for the origin I'm gonna pick right there in the middle of the note and since I have text over on the right hand side I'm only going to allow it to have left leaders and for the left leader for the origin of that one I'm gonna pick right over there so those are the only two leaders I'm gonna have for the symbol instant height I like it to be variable in case I want to resize it variable based on drawing units now another thing to note is that bomb balloons can't have an elbow so don't check this box over here now I will go to variable text and since those notes have those backslashes and the words in here I can specify the values that I want and I'm going to check this to only use preset values and for the preset values if you use index or rpt dot index it'll use that report symbol in here so that's good for the index for the quantity again I'm going to limit to preset values and I'm going to put rpt in here and that's good you could also have assembly member name assembly member type assembly member custom parameter in here 
whatever you want you could put that in your bomb balloon but this is all that I'm gonna have in this one so I will click the OK button and then click done return to get out of here now I'm going to write this symbol out to disk so I can retrieve it to use in the table properties of my repeat region so let's choose right and it's going to write it offset from C Creo symbols that is what I have my config option pro underscore symbol underscore dir set to point to so that is good let's hit the check mark and this bomb underscore custom symbol has been stored out to disk so that's good let me hit done return out of symbol gallery and again I can select a cell in here then go to the table tab and select table let's go to properties and now when I go to bomb balloons, instead of using the simple circle or quantity split circle, I can change to custom and then use the browse button. And it goes out to my folder that's pointed to by that config.pro option I mentioned. Let's select our custom bomb symbol and click open. And because I said it was variable, here we have this dialog box. Hey, choose a custom bomb symbol height in drawing units inch. I'll leave that default value in there. And now if I zoom in over here, you can see that, yeah, my bomb balloons here have my report index and then the quantity and then the letter X. And again, you can see from this one, really doesn't make sense for me to have any of my bomb balloons out over here. So I probably want to do some repositioning. Oh yeah, see how it's moving around in those different sort of like quantum leaps. That's because my sketcher preferences are still turned on. Don't forget to turn off sketcher preferences. And even though I got out of the symbol editing mode, I can go to the sketch tab and then choose sketch preferences and uncheck grid intersection. And now I can move this around smoothly over here. And really, I don't want it attached over here. So I can right, oops, let me right click on the arrow and edit attachment maybe I want to attach more over here so it looks a little bit better and I can readjust all my other different balloons uh, that I have here that are using this custom symbol all right one other thing to show you let's say that you want your drawing templates to use a custom symbol there are a couple different things that you have to do I'm going to open up one of my drawing templates let me hit the open button and here I have one of my drawing templates let's open it up and so this is the symbol that you get for a view that's going to be placed on the drawing and here I have my repeat region uh, three things that you need to do first the symbol has to exist somewhere in the drawing and just to be certain of that I like to go to the annotate tab and then go to our symbol and then custom symbol and let's browse in here and grab the symbol and choose open a lot of times I just drop it on there and then hit the OK button I've got those symbols in there. It's like, oh, you know what? Now I'm just going to delete them. I just wanted to make sure that they were associated to the drawing. The next thing that I need to do is make sure that a repeat region is set to use that symbol. So let's go to the table tab and then a repeat region. And actually, no, I need to go to table properties. Let's select a cell in here, select table, and now go to properties and then bomb balloons and let's specify that this is going to use a custom symbol and I'll use the browse button and grab my bomb custom symbol and again it asks me for the height and drawing units I'll use that default value and hit the check mark and now the last thing I need to do is to change a drawing DTL option to say that any subsequent repeat regions for a bill of materials should use that particular bomb symbol to get to that i will go to file and then prepare drawing properties and there are essentially two lines in here for tolerances and detail options we're going to click the blue change hyperlink for detail options and let's make this a bit wider there are a bunch of options that deal with repeat regions they're located 
close to the bottom of the list here. So I'm just going to collapse a few in here. Okay, it looks like it's in this group over here. And the option that we're looking for is the default bomb balloon type. Oops, here's the option. And right now it's set to use a simple circle. If I go to the drop down list, because I added that symbol to my drawing, now I'm able to change it to that symbol I created called bomb underscore custom. I can click add change and then OK. And so now this particular drawing is configured that any subsequent bomb balloons are going to use that particular custom symbol. And then I could save this drawing in order to make sure that this drawing template has those different values configured. So in that way, you can create a custom bomb balloon symbol to use in your drawings and also set up your drawing templates to use a custom bomb balloon symbol. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.